now in the concluding paragraph we want to include three key pieces of information the first being a summary of the points of view that we analyzed so these are the two points of view the one in paragraph one and the one in paragraph two and the next thing we want to do is state our uh, point of view so which one we agree with do we uh, refute the statements or do we support the statement so this is where we say our point of view finally we include a prediction or a recommendation and um, I think in this essay we're going to give a prediction which is basically a guess for what the future holds based on what we support now uh, reading through this uh, essay I think that uh, that most people would probably support the second point of view and so that's what we'll stick to when we write our concluding paragraph so let's get started Oops. okay so the first uh, statement is basically a summary of the two supporting paragraphs the two points of view so we might write something like for reasons related to history and recent developments uh, the issue of economic stability in the UAE Uh, without the support of Abu Dhabi's oil is supported and refuted by many. I'm just looking at that. It's a really long sentence. For reasons related to history and recent developments, the issue of economic stability in the UAE without the support of Abu Dhabi's oil is supported and refuted by many. Okay, we'll keep it. And now in this next sentence, we want to uh, state our point of view. So we might start with something like, however. So however, even though people are supporting, refuting this, we're going to say one that we're, that we're in support of. So, um, however, after analyzing these two points of view it is clear that the uh, maybe we'll say something about the historical and uh, not changes the historical conditions in the Emirates have changed. So what was true before where the entire Emirates was dependent on Abu Dhabi's oil, well that's not true anymore. Things have changed. Okay, now we're setting up our point of view now. Our next our, our point of view will probably be we, we want to state our point of view very, very clearly. So the basic question was sorry to keep jumping around, but the basic question at the beginning was if Abu Dhabi runs out of oil the UAE economy will collapse. Now we want to state very, very clearly whether we support or refute this, and we refute. So, thus, the argument that the UAE economy would fall apart without the support of Abu Dobby's oil can not be supported. Okay, so we're just clearly stating that our opinion is in disagreement with this statement. Now the last part we want to give some sort of prediction for the future and so we probably want to say something along the lines of we don't ever expect there to be a scenario where Abu Dhabi runs out of oil and the entire UAE economy collapses. So we uh, we might actually can we could probably attach this together. 
So thus the arguments that the UAE economy would fall apart without the support of Abu Dhabi's oil cannot be supported and is expected to never be realized which is a nice way of saying to never come true okay now so that's the conclusion of the essay let's read it together for reasons related to history and recent developments the issue of economic stability in the UAE without the support of Abu Dhabi's oil is supported and refuted by many However, after analyzing these two points of view, it is clear that the historical conditions in the Emirates have changed. Thus, the argument that the UAE economy would fall apart without the support of Abu Dhabi's oil cannot be supported and is expected to never be realized. Now, we just said supported twice in the same sentence, which is unattractive. So, we could say without the support of Abu Dhabi's oil cannot be um, I'll just change this one. Without the help of Abu Dhabi's oil. Okay, now, so that's the essay as a whole. So if we take it from the beginning, and of course, if this is on an exam or any essay you're handing in to your institution, you definitely don't want to have these small titles. Now from the top. Traditionally, the UAE's economy has been completely reliant on oil. Within the past 15 years, however, its economy has diversified. Some believe that the UAE economy will collapse if Abu Dhabi runs out of oil, and some refute this. These points of view will be discussed in this order. It is believed by some that if Abu Dhabi runs out of oil, the UAE economy will fall apart. An idea that supports this is the historical fact that the UAE economy has been almost completely dependent on its capital's oil reserves. It can be argued that this history will remain true in the future. Thus it is clear why some people gravitate towards this point of view. On the other hand, many argue that Abu Dhabi's oil reserve is not the only industry upholding the UAE economy. For example, industries such as tourism and construction have gained a very strong foothold in the Emirates economy over the past 15 years. Thus, these industries can be expected to support the UAE economy in the absence of oil. After analyzing these facts, it is clear why many support this claim. For reasons related to history and recent developments, the issue of economic stability in the UAE without the support of Abu Dhabi's oil is supported and refuted by many. And once again, we used support twice, is, um, we'll say agreed with, and refuted by many. However, after analyzing these two points of view, it is clear that the historical conditions in the Emirates have changed. Thus, the argument that the UAE economy would fall apart without the help of Abu Dhabi's oil cannot be supported and is expected to never be realized. Okay, I feel this essay is very strong, and we've used a number of linking words, which in English is absolutely critical if you're writing an essay. Thus, however, for reasons related to um, on the other hand, for example, again thus, after analyzing these facts. So all of these phrases help link the sentences together. One more thing I'd like to point out before concluding is that in no place did we include our opinion in the first three paragraphs. So the first three paragraphs, we do not see our opinion at all. As well, when we're writing an essay, it's important to remember not to use uh, personal pronouns related to uh, to ourselves and our opinions. So we do not want to say things like, I think, or uh, we think, or our opinion is. This is not correct. You cannot use this in an essay. Okay, so that concludes our uh, lesson on how to write a discussion essay. Thank you for listening.